That's a hard question to answer. We're talking about one of the most blatant releases of a mixture of some of the most toxic chemicals that we've seen in America. I feel like now I have a duty to warn other communities. If my daughter has to watch me die of cancer, at least it saves someone else. Hi, everyone. I'm Catherine Herridge in Washington. Thanks for streaming. We begin with breaking news this hour. The U.S. has launched a series of strikes in retaliation for the strike against a base in Jordan that killed three U.S. soldiers last weekend. Plans for airstrikes in Syria and Iraq were approved earlier this week. The White House has said it holds Iran responsible for supplying weapons to militant groups who carried out the attacks on U.S. forces. President Biden said Friday, quote, the United States does not see conflict in the Middle East or anywhere else in the world. But let all those who might do us harm know that if they harm Americans, we will respond. The president and First Lady Jill Biden were present Friday as the three fallen U.S. soldiers were returned home. He accompanied the families to the ceremony known as a dignified transfer after meeting with them privately. I'm joined now by CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Nancy Cordes and our national security correspondent David Martin, as well as CBS News contributor Sam Vinograd, who also served as an assistant secretary for counterterrorism at the Department of Homeland Security. David, let's start with you. What more are we learning about the strikes that were carried out earlier today? Well, we know some of the details. There were uh, 85 targets and more than 125 uh, individual munitions dropped on those targets. The planes included a pair of uh, B-1 bombers, which uh, flew all the way from uh, the United States. So this was uh, much, much more than the previous retaliatory strikes we've seen. Uh, in response to the attacks on uh, American troop locations. To date, I think there have been something like 165 attacks, but it was that one on Sunday which uh, crossed uh, President Biden's red line because three Americans were killed. And the next day, he approved uh, the strike we saw unfold tonight. Now, uh, the targets were uh, both uh, the militias that carry out the strikes and 